Hey collective, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. It's the Pisces High Priestess. You guys can call me Siren and we're going to go ahead and get into today's timeless channel planetary message for the energies of Mars and its connection to the root chakra. Um, now y'all, I did film for Moon Day, but I didn't really like the message, so I ain't posted. I feel like that's very um, indicative of just like the Moon Day's energy too. I kind of feel like... um. Maybe you didn't want something to be seen. I feel like you get your wish in a way where uh, it's almost like, yeah, I feel like something wasn't seen. It goes under the radar, so you don't got to worry about it. You're fine. It's like you have a moment one day where you're really mad and you like send this, this whole text, this paragraph to your boss. Da, 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 I'm going to quit. Da, 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 da. You send it. Now you're worried. You're like, oh my gosh, now I'm fine. I need my job. Then you look on your phone and then you see that actually the text didn't go through or um, you had your boss blocked. So they never got the message. You're like, whew. It's like, yeah. And it's funny because that's kind of what I was saying. And um, it's something we touched on in the, in the reading in Moon Day. Uh, it was like getting emotions out without the repercussions of it. So maybe you want a journal or something like that. Um, yeah, because we were actually talking about a really weird person, a different type of like narcissistic person that their energy was very weird for me, for me, uh, to interpret. Because, yeah, you know, something typically like people that maybe are passive aggressive or throw shots at you and stuff like that, those little shots at you, and you know, typically the other person they feed off of it when the when they notice when the person feels hurt by it. Like, oh my gosh, you threw a shot at me. You hurt my feelings. They feed off of the emotional reaction of the other person. But but what I was picking up on is like somebody who throws shots at people or threw shots at you when like you don't notice. You don't notice or nobody notices, but they still, I'm like, why are you constantly <laughs> doing this? Like, what is this doing for you? Because the people aren't noticing. So they're not having an emotional reaction. Like, oh my God, my feelings are hurt. You just said this to... Nobody's having an emotional reaction. So what is this doing for you? Yeah, it was really... I was like, yeah, this person's really weird because um, it was given like real dark energy. Like, because what, what do you... And I guess it's just to just... um, Regardless on if somebody notices or not, they just want to be able to dump their stuff on you and project on you and... Whether whether or not you notice or not, it's just, uh yeah. So I guess now that I'm thinking about it in that way, thank you, Spirit, for giving me a different perspective. I'm getting that some message in itself, too. You don't have, uh, you don't have, oh, <laughs> yeah, what you, what you don't understand today, you will understand tomorrow. I just, I say it like that. What you don't understand today, you will understand tomorrow. Clarity is coming. Delayed processing. Uh, wow, Five of Pentacles, first card. Wow, so Five of Pentacles, the first card for Mars Day? Hmm. I don't feel like this is your energy, though. Maybe you feel like, also, too, you don't have enough clothes. You're not prepared for something. A big message in today's reading was rising to the occasion. And the message that I got from it is um, some information about your rising sign, whatever that might be. I feel like you're going to be invited to a lot of outings or a lot of events coming up, just maybe during the summer or whatever the case may be. And your spirit team wants you to make sure that um, you're embodying the energy, which it, obviously it will come natural to you um, if you know how to work with it. <laughs> But no, because <laughs> not everybody, not everybody operates in their rising. It takes them a while to even realize what that is. And I don't even mean on paper. Oh, my rising is Virgo. My, my rising's uh, cancer. No, I mean like not everybody knows like, ooh, when I step into the room, this is the energy. You ever like, I don't know. It's like Marilyn Monroe. See, because not everybody does this. Maybe, like, yeah, not everybody does. They're like, okay, some people just walk into the room. Even you, it could be times where sometimes you, that's the thing. 
you know. So I feel like you understand the time and place. It may be times where you just walk into a room. You're like, I'm not going to do all of this. I'm just walking to the room. But then it's other times where you're like, no, hmm, let me straighten up. Let me put on a certain energy before I walk into this room. I ain't do it with the other room. Yeah, that it wasn't important. But this room, let me make sure that I'm I'm walking in this certain way. The next room, okay, let me change it. I'm walking in this certain way. Um, yeah, very adaptable. But yeah, being invited to a lot of different events and things like that coming up. Maybe the Five of Pentacles, you feel like you don't have enough or everything's old. You're like all this shit's old, old stuff. You could be donating some stuff to give it away. I feel like if you do, you do that and you get new things. That too. So make room. I'm also getting... Huh. I'm going to write that down. So I'm going to forget. Make room and make haste. <laughs> now, does anybody watch Bridgerton? I don't, but... I know that this they say that make room. This probably may not even be the title. Cause what else did I say? Hmm. Five of the five of pentacles. King of Swords. Yeah, what you don't know today, you will know tomorrow. And it's interesting because it's like, because you don't know something, I don't know. Because you don't know something today that's putting you in a Five of Pentacles energy or um, it's putting you in a, um, feel in this lackluster energy where you feel like you don't have something or like you don't have money or resources or something like that quickly it changes it's also could just be you just not having clarity about where something is you could have ordered a package and it was out for delivery it said it will be here today tuesday now they said the deliveries changed but they didn't say when they never told you hey delay on the delivery it'll come friday or this day or they just didn't say anything they said hey it's a delay you're like okay delay what else <laughs> um I feel like you're gonna get like a, a date time or something like that. I'm also gonna time stamp. Yeah, you're also gonna keep seeing 444. I've been seeing that quite a lot. It's still cancer season. Y'all know what's funny? Happy birthday to somebody. I'm like literally looking at like my work chat. And someone's like, uh, happy birthday, hashtag cancer. I thought I was uh, Gemini season. I have to say happy birthday to her. <laughs> they got the little crab emoji. Okay, so, um, wow, cancer at the bottom of the deck. Cancer uh, making itself, y'all making yourself known. Blue is so abundant. Blue, I've seen a lot of blue. For whatever reason. Yamaya yeah, water. Water is very abundant. Oh, let me also say this too. Let me redeem myself with the um the secondary energies. <laughs> let me say this. Cause everything is a uh, like a Everything loops back together. It, like, the divine order of things, we need each other. I'm also getting, you're realizing something about that. Yeah, the the divine order. Look at all the tools. So, we said the other day, again, we were talking about the primary um, elements. The feminine primary being water. The masculine primary being the sword. And it kind of makes it seem like, dang, I don't know. I, I guess if I was a fire sign or earth sign, I'd be like, oh, so, so I'm, I'm secondary? I'm a, what you saying? What? What? Or something? Maybe somebody wants answers about that. It's the next day. Or it's my next reading. So maybe that too, something that you didn't know about your energy or yourself yesterday that you'll know today. Those energies are very necessary though. Yet, like, uh, for instance, um, the sword and the wand. 
what are two examples of this in real life? I always use a light as an example, right? The sword being actual light that we can just sit here and turn on. Very futuristic, very technical. It's very primary. It's what we use every day. But remember too, at, at one point, I'm getting energy switched. Nobody knows that either. This is where this, this part is trying to get deep. It used to be, it switched. I feel like something switched. I feel like it'll switch back again, too. Yeah, that got real deep. That's something I have to think of. Yeah, it'll switch again. But, but you're very important because, uh, yeah, so like the light, that that's the, the air, that's the sword. It's what's used the most now. So, right, the wand, fire, it's like a candle. It's like this. This used to be light, baby. You had to rely on that. But see, if my lights go out right now <laughs> or something or the lights go out, suddenly we all going to wish we had fire, wish we had candle. Oh, my gosh, the secondary energy. You are. You you the or like the generator comes on. You be happy like, OK, because you know what the first one can't do. The second one. Right. Like or Leo, like you're strong enough to back it. It's not that you're. <laughs> both are strong that's why i always say you just gotta like be confident in who you are like the 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 good yeah like the good elements of who you are yeah it's not secondary it's almost like you're so important that lay dormant because when we need you we're really gonna need you or something. And again, I'm sure that it was, it, then you it used to always be like this. The primary, again, used to be fire, something like that, or whatever. Maybe the light wasn't around. But hang on, because we'll need you. Hmm. Somebody could realize this about you. Something about you. And it's not to say the primary energies aren't strong because if you're the ones that being used the most, the most, you have you got the most wear and tear and tear. You got to be strong enough to withstand it. I don't know. Maybe you're like really thinking about uh, the elements. Yeah. The Ten of Swords. Why is this getting so deep? Spirit. I feel like, um, so something does get kicked into overdrive. Something goes into whatever that means for uh yeah party but something does get kicked into overdrive because the ten of swords is showing up so it has reached the limit of like okay yes i am strong i put up with it like again and again okay but huh, so so let's see now what happens what does that mean whatever that means the king of wands oh wow Yeah, I don't know. I'm literally seeing this, and now that I'm, that I'm looking at it, really, I'm literally seeing somebody goes from the King of Swords to the King of Wands. Hold on. Uh, I'm also getting to somebody 
whether it be you or another person or whatever, or maybe your cousin's going through this. Um, and with Gemini energy being here, y'all already know how I feel about Gemini. So even me making a joke, it's probably truth in the, jo in the joke. Probably really is your cousin going through this. Um, but it's like, okay, I'm sorry, Spirit. Give me, give me, tap me back in. I'm sorry. Because somebody already feels like they were carrying the relationship or carrying something or carrying the household. They feel like they were already carrying whatever, making the, the most effort or whatever that means. Like the chariot, they literally feel like they were caring for the both. Like, I don't really know. Um. Yeah, like, I, just like I never really liked that lyric uh, by Janae Aiko. Her in uh, that song with Drake. What's the song called? But it's like, what's up? Been a minute since we kicked it. You've been caught up with them bitches. I don't get it. Just I love. What she say? Oh, I love me. I love me the, enough for the both of us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love me. Don't doubt that. You, for sure. I love me. Definitely. But I'm not going to sit here and love, just love myself by myself. If that's. If that's the case, you can kick rocks. What you here for if you don't love me? And that's anybody. Friendship, anything. You don't love me? I'm not going to sit here. Just sit here. Huh? <laughs> that's why you trust me. Ooh. Maybe you'll go back to this energy, but right now you're not feeling it because you've been carrying it. Like, literally, I, it's like the song uh, skips, and then it's like, unloyal by summer walker i guess i'm unloyal baby i guess i'm untrue because her song basically saying it's like oh if me being loyal means i have to wait around put up with stuff and and this and that and just wait and wait and wait then i i guess i'm just unloyal i can't keep doing it i tried i i guess call it call it what it is like literally something it's like no i love me i love me enough for the both of us yeah baby i got you i'm gonna just keep doing it <laughs> Wait, you know what's funny? You know, y'all know what's funny. Y'all know what's funny. Yeah, you go back to the beginning, or maybe you go to your square. You have a square in your chart. It's funny because it, again, it starts with the Pisces. Janae, it starts with the Pisces. My God, right? Me and <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet and like. <laughs> then it just goes to Aries. Summer Walker. And here we are on Mars Day for Aries, for the root chakra, 7, 1755 on the clock. You go back or you'll be balanced. Um, yeah, so it just kind of went to the... Why do I feel like the world card? Okay, but the, a change is here. So it's like somebody did, did this to you. Because I'm not going to lie, it could be for whatever reason. This could even just be spiritual warfare. It's like you going through something. So then, I don't know, it gets, it's on this person or this person's trying to see you or they're trying they feel like they're carrying it or some. They just kind of block you out in a certain way. The wand energy is less passion, less some. Um, or them being there or them, um, what's it? Like thinking on your behalf, like uh, like um, considering you would make a decisions or something. I don't know. So this is like kind of a little bit of past energy yeah and then the ten of wands so there's healing it's raining real bad i don't got time for this i'm not gonna be lighting candles for real <laughs> oh my gosh
Okay, I'm so, now I'm really sitting here thinking about how hard it's raining. Okay. Um, but yeah, something's changed. So now I feel like yeah, they were, the energy was blocked or whatever. And I feel like, I don't know, they can't block you anymore. It's getting hard. I don't know. What does this mean? There's been a change that's happened, though. Hmm, the High Priestess. So we're on point. Yeah, so back to, yeah. Back to the end. What song is that? I don't even really know that song. Emperor. But yeah, but something's very accurate. Yeah, then you both feel like this. It's equal. Yeah. Literally. I don't know. That, yeah, and I think I, I didn't even see that at first. So you don't even see that you write about a situation or something. I didn't, I didn't even see what I just said. Pisces to Aries or something. Or and then it goes back. So maybe someone now knows too that you shift and switch into these different modes where you like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like also too uh they witnesses or people witnesses. Like you'll be like, um, oh my god, hey. I don't know, you'll just switch. You'll be like, I don't know, you'll be sweet and composed, and then you'll like you'll switch. N not just for no reason, but given the opportunity, you you just know how to change and adapt. Like you just you you know what you do, you'll switch. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> okay, so um I'm gonna I feel like now yeah, thank you. I I'm also getting till you get in you're I guess you get in tune with your body or something, the motion of something. This is a reading where for the first time in a long time, I'm like, okay, I hear my spirit team saying, this is the message that we wanted to get out. And like, basically the message is, is done now. Other times I'm like, okay, let me keep pulling cards. But like, I literally see it. It's not, I mean, my team is telling me to, but I see it. I see everything I just spoke about. I'm also getting too, yeah, it's like, maybe this will start happening to you the way that you read. Literally a story. You know how stories are actually... I'm getting this is tarot. Wow, this is getting real deep. Best tarot? The fact that when you pull cards, you're going to pull it in a way that a story is written. Remember I said when I said that shows, movies, stories, and songs, they're not just like, oh, I'm just going to write write this one day. No, it's it's bars and a song. The first... I can't... I don't, I don't even know because... Oh my gosh, I don't know. I forgot the actual terms. So like, I know what I'm saying. Or like how you formulate a paragraph. You're not just writing. You're not. No, it's the way that you formulate it. Literature, maybe that's what you were good at. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not. But it's not just. You know that too. It's very precise. Like writing's not just. It can be. But writing is not just like whatever. A show isn't just. That's why when you see certain things, it's like, it's no way that y'all yeah, just didn't know. But I'm giving you'll have the introduction to introduce basically what the topic will be about. You'll have the body of it, what's going on. Um, you'll, you'll have the climax. And, and again, I feel like the climax was me, like, um, really coming to that realization with the, the air, the Pisces, like, kind of what happened, the, um, the switch in the energy. And then it'll come down to the resolution. And then it'll show you that, um, it'll show you exactly what you just spoke about. Everything I said, not even just these cards, because the last card here, I know that I'm done with the reading because I pulled the Queen of Pentacles. We started the reading with the Five of Pentacles. You felt without, you felt, yeah, so... The main message from the reading, too, is that by the end of everything, you end up the Queen of Pentacles or feeling like the Queen of Pentacles. Lee, even look at the Pentacle. They could have just put a coin on this card. Would they? I don't know. 
I'm going to leave it here, y'all. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in a book and a reading, the link is down below. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.